Hey guys, Oz Grills here. Today we're going to do a quick, easy video of how to add a webcam to your Streamlabs OBS and a few tricks that I picked up with my Logitech C922. Let's go. All right, guys, first things first, just a few things about my channel is we do tutorials on Streamlabs OBS, OBS, Twitch itself, and streaming. We also have videos on how to design your own sub badges and emotes and how to upload them. You right, Cap? We also have a podcast called Talking Corner, where we go over tips and strategies on how to grow your stream and just have a lot of fun. So if any of them interest you, please hit that subscribe button. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash ozgrillus. We're coming up to our thousand follower guys, we're at like about 980 something now, um, so close. So if you come in and show some support, that would be amazing. Anyway, guys, let's get to the video. All right, guys, well, here I am on the Streamlabs OBS screen. I've got the webcam right here as, um, I can't have it open in two programs at once. So, um, unfortunately, my webcam won't show up in Streamlabs OBS as it's here. Um, but I've got it open in OBS to record this video, so it's the exact same thing. So what you need to do is go to Sources in the middle here, and you need to hit the plus icon for Add a New Source. Then what we're going to do is go to Video Capture Device, which is this one just here, which is for your webcams and also for, say, your capture cards and stuff as well. If you were going to add them, it'd be in the same screen. Add that there, add a new source. You can name it whatever you like. We're just gonna leave a video capture device. For now, you can change it whenever you want as well. So I'm gonna add that source and you go to device here and you pick which one is connected that you have. And um, we've got the C922 ProStream webcam. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna hit done. Okay, so as you can see, it's not on the Streamlabs OBS screen because I'm here and I won't go in two programs at once as I just said. Um, but little tip and trick is to keep the video capture device on the top of your sources uh, so it will stay on top of your overlays and your capture card and, or your display capture, game capture, whatever you're using. If you put it below, the webcam won't show up in your stream. Simple as that. If you keep it above that, it's going to be at the top of your stream so your webcam is always going to be on display. Um, I've got the green screen effect going now. Uh, that's why you can see the background behind me. Um, and to do that, you need to change your filters, but I've got a video on that and it'll be in the link below and above. Um, so hit that if you want to see how to do the green screen effect. And um, I'm just going to fit, show you a trick that you can do on the C922. You can probably do it on quite a few other webcams as well, but you definitely can on the C922. So what you do is select a video capture device, go to properties, open the source properties, this little cog down here, and back to the screen and you go to configure video. Okay, so it brings up the properties here. Go to camera control and you can change your zoom and everything and it'll change it in stream too. So at its standard, my green screen isn't wide enough so you can see the rest of my room. So we need to zoom in, you know, until it's gone kind of thing. You can change your focus as well and your exposure like a light, dark, etc. And you can pan it to show other things. And you can also go up and down, etc., with a tilt. And then in video proc amp, you can change your brightness, your contrast, your saturation sharpness, etc. White balances if you want to get more of a glow or less of one. So you can get that warm kind of glow so they look a bit more tanned. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So it's quite quite good for that a uh, nice little trick c922 is an awesome webcam i love it um if you guys want this same webcam as well amazon link below um hit that buy that webcam i've got no problems with it at all i love it so check that out that's awesome um and yeah thanks thanks so much for watching guys and now you can go add your camera to streamlabs obs and it also works on normal obs for those using stream elements um so if you did like this video, please give it a like, uh, share it to your friends who you want to see their faces and subscribe to this channel. We've got plenty of content like this, um, other tutorials as well, and a lot more coming. So that subscription would mean a lot. And this is going to bring us on to our next segment for the first time, which is acknowledging a random streamer. So to get on this acknowledge random streamer list, what we do is we go around to members of the community and showcase their streams at the end of every video, which is uh, what I'll be doing from now on. First came off the rank today is X Doctor X, who happens to be streaming right now, and we're just going to cross over to his stream right now. 
All right, so it happens to be live as I'm shooting the video, which is a great bonus. I'm sure this won't happen every single video. Um, so what he is doing here is he is building his PC. So he's gone out and bought all these parts and he's putting it all together right now. Um, he's been going for probably the last, what, half an hour or so. And yeah, so what X Doctor X does, he generally plays um, your multiplayer games like COD, Rocket League, Siege, um, games like that as well. And also he is very involved in tech, loves the tech. And as you can see here, he does a few streaming streams of himself um, with the tech. So yeah, make sure you go check him out. He's just starting a YouTube channel as well, which is gonna be heavily tech focused. He can help you out with your builds, um, help you deciding on what build you wanna get. So make sure you go check him out. His link's gonna be below as well, um, X Doctor X. So go check him out, guys. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys, and I hope you have a great day. Make sure you check out those links below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.